<laughs> Howdy there. Have you ever pondered what it would be like if you could have your race car also as your daily? What if you could do everyday driving in a comfortable race car? That sounds silly. However, we're going to answer today if that's actually possible. These are my friends, Dylan and Leandro. Leandro is a proud dad owner of an X3M40, while Dylan is also a proud dad owner of an X3M. I'm going to place both of these cars on my tier list if they are fun to drive. I like to find out if it's possible to have a high performing SUV that'll put a big smile on my face. Here we are, it's good old Leandro's baby. beautiful X3M40. <laughs> Give it all the feels of the Cognac. Cognac. We got, the, we got the cognac interior, as some would call the peanut butter inside. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, let's take her out. See, uh, see how she does. <laughs> I think she's gonna do just fine. <laughs> so away we go. Joe cut. <laughs> there it is. So uh, acceleration is still insanely fast, even with uh, three other passengers. There's a squirrel though. I got you this time. Oh, oh God. God. What are you doing? Yo, get oh, out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, God. What are you he doing? He has a death wish. Oh, man. That dude ruined my, my entrance to the turn. Oh, Is a Supra. That a Supra. There's a Supra. There's like three quarters of a Supra. Supra. So basically engine, everyone knows I fucking love B58 engines. The ZF transmission is universal now. It's a fantastic staple. Uh, this chassis is incredible and I'll show you why here in just a moment. Because you can just kind of roll it on center just like this. And mid corner adjust just like that. It was not smooth, but it was uh, extremely fun. We're not plowing too much at all. Uh, the understeer isn't super bad at all. They hit the chicane and see how she transfers weight. Everyone ready? <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Coming in hot. Set up. Power in. Slide it. Good transfer. The Ascend just rotates fantastically. Oh, that was so good. Uh, upon transition, that's what that you want. You don't good. want the car to plow too much. So when you get plow, that's when shit gets hairy. We're gonna go towards a, a curb or a grassy knoll. Nobody likes understeer, man. I mean, some people do Honda guys, <coughs> but it is what it is. We here at BMW love oversteer to an extent. And then uh, coming in, the brakes are phenomenal. Heavy braking. Now we got a little bit of push, but we can always mitigate and recorrect. Going through the S's, flying through the sweeper. And uh, yeah, she's extremely well planted. These tires are begging for dear life, but they're doing oh, yeah. their best to hang on. They are screaming for help. Yes, they're absolutely screaming. freaking the fuck out right now. Please, oh, yeah. God, <laughs> so stop. Let me breathe. Priscilla, oh yeah, are you doing all right? Priscilla, yeah. Yeah. She's, 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 she's fine. In. I really appreciate yeah, she's, she's, she's doing, doing fine. Great. This is fine. This is fine. If you get nervous, just tell me to slow down. I won't. But overall, yeah, this car is brilliant for oh, a dad mobile. It feels fantastic. Though. It's amazing. Definitely, uh, definitely slide worthy. This is with yeah. MDM mode. So we're getting a little bit of slip and not way too much, which we kind of do want a little bit more than usual. But since this is not my car, I am going to respect it in some regard. Some regard. So just a little bit of respect. Just a tad, really. But yeah, this this thing, uh, I think, and I'll document this at some point in time, I think this car would shit on my S4, which is actually pretty sad. Everyone's so quiet. Why is everyone so quiet? I can't breathe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that was a quick little tune-up of the wow. X3M40. It's, it's, a, it's an incredible I'm machine. Shocked. This is so everything you'll ever need. It has the space, it has the perfect size, you can parallel park it just fine without having to think it's a truck. It's, you can, it, you can drive it like a complete buffoon. Yeah. And it'll give you the smiles per gallon. Speaking of smiles per gallon, how's your gas mileage, Leandro? Uh, like around 15, 14, because I drive like an asshole. That's so. fine, it's probably about eight an hour. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, I, I, so. I think I've lost a quarter of gas already. 
All right, so we are going to move to Dylan's X3M and see if it's if it's even <laughs> worth <laughs> moving to. I mean, honestly, I I don't know. Good this is that. this is yeah. plenty awesome. I don't know. That was... Leandro may tune this, so we may have to do another uh, yeah, tune up two. of this at one point in time just to check out the tune. A brief uh, maybe bump in tier list, but yeah. I love this car, dude. Thanks, Thanks for letting me thrash it. Thank you. Thank you for letting fun. me thrash that was it. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> We're in Dylan's. Lovely X3M. X3M. Yes. Yeah, and then this guy is 473 horsepower. However, what Dylan did was he, uh, what did you do to the exhaust? Took out my secondary cats and the H pipe resonator. So it might have freed up a smidge. Hey, maybe it's a quicker spool. Let's let's check it out. Let's see if it's absolutely worth that much extra right now. Um, compared to the M40, because I think that the X3 M40 is perfect. Look at this idiot. Damn, this car is loud. <laughs> it's very <funny> loud. <laughs> this is awesome. He's wanted a little bit more volume. I got we a got lot it. more volume. God. And it's just, it's stupid fast. It's so stupid fast. Zero to 60 on this is, is what did they calculate? Three points. I don't know. I don't even remember. Oh. It just, it handles, I, I'm pretty sure this handles about as well as my M2 with way more heft. Uh, they mask the size of these cars fantastically. And this is, this is what you get, man. Jesus Christ, you think it, it, it's so weird to be up this high and do shit like that because you think, oh God, it's, it's gonna roll gonna over, handle, it's gonna topple. Yeah. Oh That's God, no, fantastic. there was there was nothing. There's no, it's so level. The body roll is nominal. Uh, whereas in, in Leandro's, there's, there's a little bit of body roll, of course. I mean, there's always gonna be body roll. However, this just like dials that out like crazy, man. Look at this. Nothing. And it just wow. rotates, it's God. planted. Like, wow. absolute confidence inspiring. It's just, it's so dumb. And of course you get, are, these are bigger brakes on yeah. this, right? Compared yep. to the, the M40, so which the M40 already has great brakes. And and y'all may or may not know this, but I'm not a huge fan of BMW brakes, but these are just phenomenal. Case in point, coming in hot. Hitting ABS a little bit get it in there and it just rotates god look at, that. look at that and the gravel and everything planted oh oh so <laughs> oh good. god it's so good y'all uh, so wow. can't feel this but the ascent <sighs> excuse me the ascent just swung around just and it just it just perfect. goes exactly where you want it to the all-wheel drive system in these cars is, is also phenomenal i know audi has the best all-wheel drive system next to subaru they do theirs uh, kind of the same way, just a different setup. However, like this does a plenty good job just freaking beasting you through a corner. I, I'm sure in the snow, if you have some good tires, not these performance uh, summer tires, this thing would be an absolute blast to feel like you're doing rally racing because holy shit. Look at this. Modulate with throttle mid corner. That is just insane. You could upset the balance, get it just a little sideways there. Either way, these M cars, and this is this, all this is is just an M3 uh, uh, in an SUV variant. This is all this is. Big M3. It's big M3. He's, he's literally getting big M3 for his license plates, uh, which is, is totally true. So it's it's just funny that we have cars like this now. It's crazy. If you told me a decade ago that we would have had performance SUVs like this, I would have just laughed at you because this is just ridiculous. Look at this. Coming in, go out wide, apex in, power in. We understeered a little bit there in Leandro's car. Uh, this dials that out completely. Mid corner rotation is just so much fucking fun. God, oh, we hopped it. <laughs> we hopped awesome. it. <laughs> yes, oh, this is this is wow. glorious. Wow. Um, X3M40 is a fantastic car. It is the all-arounder. This is also the all-arounder, but if you are like 
coked out all the time. Yes. And not 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 really, but I mean, like metaphorically speaking, like you just want more. Uh, or you're you're a dad now, and yeah. you're you've got you're about that race lifestyle. Yeah. This is the car for this you. Is yeah. This is it. Wow. Um, if if you can't if you can't afford it, and let, let's be honest, I mean these cars are not cheap. If you can't afford it, then that's cool. The M40 is totally fine. Um, tune it. Shit, I mean, right. B58 is a fantastic platform, and uh, whenever we drag race these cars, you'll see that the M40 X3 does a very good job keeping up with this. Off the line, it is faster because it doesn't have the twin turbo setup, so there's not as much lag in the S58 as you know in the B58 as there is in the S58, and that is apparent because you make it your um, peak torque kicks in it what is it it's 2600 yeah 2600 rpm yeah, which is... doesn't seem like a whole lot and that's that comes pretty quick but leandro yours is like uh, 1500 rpm 1500 rpm so 1100 rpm quicker uh, a full torque band than this guy and so that thing off the line zero to 60 is is equally as crazy yeah. um so Shock. Uh, take it with a grain of salt man i mean both of these cars are amazing performers they're gonna go i'm gonna let y'all know this right now they're gonna go up really high on my tier list so um I, I'm, I'm in it man i i'm not a big scd guy but this is like an existential crisis i'm having now this is <laughs> these are the ultimate dad yeah, bills so 100%. uh anyways thank you so much for always let me thrash yes, i appreciate both y'all and blast. priscilla as well thanks yes, for being a, our, a good sport little yay right there, yeah. uh yeah let's put these guys on a tier list we'll see you then Ah, yes, the Dadmobiles. They are incredible machines. I am obviously preference to the X3M. However, if you are going to be dailing, I'd find that the X3M40 is plenty sufficient and probably more of a comfortable ride over time, especially if you have kids or you just want to take people out. I feel like the X3M would be a little bit more punishing and have everyone on edge the whole time. And maybe they like that, but most of the time, the normies that get into something like this usually don't. In terms of the nerdy stuff, these cars are very much the same chassis. They are hugely different though. The X3 M40 weighs in at 42.82 pounds. That has a 50-50 weight distribution, so it is perfect on center. The X3 M on the other side is 4,549 pounds. I couldn't get a clear description on whether it is a true 50-50. However, I'd wager that that S58 engine is a little bit heavier than the B58 because it's a twin turbo setup as opposed to a singular turbo setup on the B58. I'm going to go ahead and say that maybe it's around 5149 weight distribution, so maybe a little bit more front nose weight. And just to do the math for you real quick, that is a difference of 267 pounds. I'd wager that the X3M has a faster tune ZF. However, these are all something you can tune into the X3M40. Even though that the X3M40 is down on horsepower at 382 horsepower, and 369 foot-pounds of torque, it's zero to 60 is still an impressive 4.2 seconds. Your peak torque comes in at 1500 RPM, whereas at 2600 RPM on the X3M. Off the line, it is clear that the X3M is at a slight disadvantage with that. Top end though, 473 horsepower really start to come in. The X3M just started to truck on the X3M40. I couldn't really find a huge difference between the X3M and the M competition, except for the 30 more horsepower to 503 horsepower and also the black accents on the grill and the side kidney grills in which Dylan has taken the initiative to get fixed for himself. Looks great Dylan. Supposedly the tuning in the suspension damping in the X3M competition is a little bit sharper. In terms of lateral grip the X3M40 does an impressive 0.89 G and for reference the ND Miata on stock tires does a 0.94. The X3M does a 0.97. That is bonkers. The X3M40 had a little bit of mid-quarter understeer, or if you were rolling in and trail braking, it would push a little bit out. The X3M just kind of dials that completely out. Mid-corner to exit corner, both of these cars had very good characteristic. You can modulate however you want to, whether it be with steering or throttle or both. The X3M has the edge and its willingness to rotate. In terms of braking, both cars have pretty decent brakes. BMW brakes are not my favorite. However, these are very good braking systems on these cars. X3M40 does 60 
60 to 0 in 112 feet. The X3M does 60 to 0 in 104 feet. That's really impressive. Trail braking with these heavy cars is so much fun because they still are very big cars and their willingness to roll around with some body slop is really fun to take advantage of. On to ranking these guys in the tier list. We're going to start with Leandro's X3M40. I gotta say, this car is an absolute blast and I have to put it in A tier just because it's so large but you can make it handle like nobody's business. I'd wager if you put my S4 against the X3M40 on track, the X3M40 would give the S4 a big run for its money. I know the S4 has a weight advantage, but not by that much. Maybe 400 pounds? I've got to put this above the S4. I love this car. It was hilariously fun. Everything about it is just so charming, and you can just take a step back and say, hey, you know what? I can probably live with this every day. Dylan's car, it's going to be behind the FC and Matt's 240LS swapped S13. It is an instant S tier. It is so hilarious. The X3M is just a fantastic physics defying machine. It is ridiculous that you can go camping, go to the mall and racetrack if you just wanted to mess around or even troll on the autocrossers and take that big guy out there and probably set some really decent times. Overall, just so much fun and something I never thought could be physically possible. Thank you so much for making it here. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you have some other gearhead friends and nerds just like me that like the drive, please feel free to share this with them. I'll catch you next time. P.S. We have a little rev off battle here. Headphone users, just know it's gonna get really loud. You've been warned. Bye. Give me some revs. <laughs>